Hi, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? What you going? What you doing? What you doing? Okay. What you going? What you doing? All right. So, Gemini, if you're new to this channel, I do um, combine uh, the reading with sidereal astrology, um, if you guys didn't know. Um, and at the same time, I just want to give a brief announcement. I'll be flashing over here our email address for our wholesale um, support. So if you are, I'll put it here, okay? If you are um, diving into crystals and you want to create your own mini store, we're here for you. Or if you already have a store and you want to add some crystals into your store, um, you know, or anything metaphysical, please do reach us at wholesale at salbidora.com. Soon we're going to have a 1-800 number, okay? <laughs> so let's begin over here. Furniture. The moon is in Gemini. How does it feel? Are, are you moody? Are you fine? How are you? Okay. Because the moon is the lord of your second house, mm, which is uh, cancer. Um, how does it feel? Mm -hmm. How's the family? Okay. What's the family? What's the people around you? How's the food? Mm, those are the things I can see. King of Cups. Okay. All right. Um, with the King of Cups, it's more of celave. This is what I feel for you. It's like, well, life, you know, it's just life. Mm -hmm. You're not, uh, it's not like the full card. Like, I don't care. It's more of like, just you're just loving where you're at right now. And it's like, well, it is what it is. And I'm happy. You know, there's some sense of happiness with the King of Cups. It, it went to the Ace, to the Seven, to Ten, you know. And then you wind up with the King of Cups. So there is some emotional bliss that what you are having right now. Where is this emotional bliss coming from? I don't see it yet in the chart though. Okay. If anything, this is your Venus and Libra, Lord of the Fifth, yes, okay, and Mercury on the Fifth, mm -hmm. um, which show, which I feel you finding true happiness. Lord of the First House goes to the Fifth. I feel like that's good because, you know, Fifth House is interesting because I haven't really explored Fifth House. I really explored it, but I don't, it's not a Dustana, well, it's the Purva Punya. It's a house from their past life lock and also a house of progeny. So if you're planning to get pregnant, this is the best time. Okay. Um, Jupiter is the cracker for, for fifth. Yes. But Venus is, I think I can say the, that word. Venus is semen. Okay. So <laughs> if you get pregnant this time, probably the baby is gorgeous. Any time of the year is gorgeous. Just now is even special. Okay. So if you want to conceive, this is the best time. Okay. <laughs> so, so. Find me a boyfriend, then we can talk about conceiving. <laughs> got it, got it. Okay. I don't know, maybe you're some sort of miracle worker. Okay. You may be the second to be the virgin okay. <laughs> with, with the king of cups. All right, so I'm just putting a smile on your face. All right. Mercury um, retrograde on your fifth house. What does it mean? Um, I call this like doing things that you used to do that brings you joy and it's time for you to catch up on that. That mood board doesn't have to be moody. It just has to be a clear board, okay? Because I feel like you you want to do all these things that you have never finished or you tried it, but you never really explored it. So that's that. All right, loving your read for your first card. Ooh, three of swords. <laughs> what is this? Okay, a bipolar reading? Okay. <laughs> You're gonna give me a, a manic, manic depressive something? What would they call that? No, okay. like this is like passive aggressive. There, passive aggressive kind of reading. Passive aggressive. Okay. So, welcome to my dating lifestyle. Where is the aggression coming from? Well, from the person that's coming back to you. If your Lagna Lord is in retrograde right now in the fifth house, then there was someone who you had a fling, a little bit dating here and there, probably will communicate. Now, this communication will lead to more pain. So I suggest avoid contact, okay? Practice social distancing with your person from the past. You have the Ten of Cups. See, I said it. You know, you got a chance for the Ten of Cups. Um, oh, I mean, before you get to the King of Cups. Now, someone is an obstacle to what we call happy home, happy life. Mm -hmm. I feel like the Three of Swords, um, you're, there's some that you haven't really forgiven. And it can... I feel like it's going to manifest probably, let me see, 15 degrees. So give it two more weeks. Um, the aggression will come, mm -hmm. which means second week of October, it's going to be very, very challenging for you um, to deal with the person because the Three of Swords, I feel, will come second week from October. Okay. Um, and you need to deal with that. Okay. 
and then this is gonna be good okay that's the only time that you're gonna have the ten of cups so something that you have uh, i feel like uh, buried in the past will surface um and then that's when you get closure so it's just good it's wrapping up of uh, karma over here now of course there's a lot of tension um i feel uh can be with just every day it's just pressure for you there's just so much going on um with a sixth house and k2 for you which is scorpio um um, K2 acts like, you know, they say like Ma Mars, but 100%. And Mars is this whole like ball of energy. You probably have all this energy at work or, you know, are you, there's so much pressure at work or there's so much pressure at work that it can manifest into your health. So make sure you, you get yourself, um, you know, um, checked by your healthy, healthy physician. <laughs> health physician. <laughs> is my physician healthy? Yeah. <laughs> my healthy physician. <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. So that's now that pressure on work and health. Um, some may result to surgery. Um, it can span until next year. Okay, mid mid next year, maybe the first three quarters of the year until March. Four of Swords. Okay, with the King of Cups, recovery. Okay, so if there's a surgery, there's recovery. So you're gonna be fine. Okay, a little bit, you know, a bit cosmetic surgery. Okay, Venus in the fifth house. I feel like can be. All right. So reconstructive, mm -hmm. yeah, good, 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 good. Um, with the King of Cups and the Four of Swords here, healing from a relationship that I feel like it went down fast, faster than you guys were together. <laughs> Where is this reading going to? Because the Lord of your um, seventh house is in retrograde, so it's very intense. It, it will go a little bit better by November, okay? A little bit though. Mm. The tower. Oh my gosh. Under the Three of Swords. What is wrong with you, Gemini? I feel like Lagna Lord and Retrograde is really not advice. Because okay? <laughs> the cards are showing here like you will have a very transformative October. Okay? Let's keep it that way. Okay, <laughs> So we better hold our hands together okay, for the Gemini. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> okay, Yes, I am laughing because what else can you do when things are rough? Laugh. Oh, <laughs> why are you gonna cry? That's so basic. Oh, so, so don't cry, okay? Three of swords in the tower. Uh, this is a time for you to recuperate. Maybe I feel like someone's gonna get kicked out. Someone's moving out. Oh, okay? someone's gonna be thrown out that, that house. It's like if the house is yours, like get out, you know? Well, they cheated on you, Three of Swords. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Just as I thought like it can get any words. Ah, uh, and then there it is. Ace of Cups. Love it. Mm. Up and down, up and down. Your relationship keeps going around in circles. Mm. Now, if you want someone new, when the planet goes direct, 7th house lord, I feel like that's the best time. Okay? Let it simmer. Mm -hmm. Let it get out of Capricorn. I'd rather you start dating when Jupiter is in Aquarius, which is around end of November, but let it s stay there by December, okay? Remember, I do say Daryl. Mm -hmm. So I think that's 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 best, okay? Especially second marriage, okay? Second marriage is good. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you know, I knew it was gonna come out anyway, but good thing the Ace of Cups came before the devil. <laughs> now, karmic lesson, okay? This is, this is wonderful. Remember when I say the devil and the world card, when it comes together, this is wrapping up of something karmic. So yes, it's true. Who you were dealing with, dating with, got married into was a karmic relationship. Karmic ties can show different kinds of uh, connection related to nakshatra. I was studying it the other day. When I say study, I just browse one page. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I open it and it started to talk. This is uh, the uh, Love uh, love Signs by, um, uh, I forgot the author, Camilla, I think. Uh, Miss, Miss, uh, Miss Camilla. Okay. Um, so it was talking about nakshatras um, that you pair with sometimes can bring karmic uh, lessons to your life, which is very, very brutal. Very, very brutal. And that's the devil card right there. So if it's mortal combat, it was brutality at its finest. Okay? So what you need to do now is basically the tower, finish him. Yes, that's what I win. That's what that is. And three of swords permanent. This is this is done. If you think that um, there's this person is coming back from the past, no way. <laughs> There's nothing here. No traces of the past. Because it's all about the new. Look at that. How it aligned. Ace of Cups and a Ten of Cups. All right? 
But we don't know how many people love new people though. They like, for some reason, a lot of people like narcissistic people, devil and the tower. I mean, to each its own. If you like that, then you like that. I'm not judging you. <laughs> but you just need help though, okay? So, <laughs> um, anything you need is gonna be in the description box below. If you need, um, you know, to uh, for anything about your chart, you know, all these wonderful things um, in the stars related to you, please do check us out at eatreadlove.me. Link in the description box below for all your consultation needs. Um, please remember to follow me on Instagram at Salbidora and also visit our store at eatreadlove in Los Angeles, the first from YouTube to Los Angeles. Hello, okay. Make sure you visit it. It's wonderful, it's amazing. We have all our collections over there. And I like what I mentioned, um, wholesale at, at salbidora.com is already available. We are entertaining, um, you know, people here and there with regards to query about, um, you know, um, them opening up their crystal store. I'll see you guys again. Bye.